its no try and a draw for the Calcutta Cup. A mule train loading up for the long and hazardous journey from Tibet to China. Pictures taken by a movie turn cameraman during the war when this was a supply route of a sort for aid to the Chinese against Japan. Few cameramen have ever been allowed into Tibet and the pictures form a background to the present upheaval in this isolated land. Ironically, the news now tells of an uprising against the Chinese, the Chinese communists, in occupation of an inoffensive country against its will. Reports of rebellion in the mountainous northern areas have been current for some time. Now they have culminated in rumours concerning the fate of the Dalai Lama, the Tibetan spiritual leader. Among such deeply religious people, any move touching his safety would certainly intensify revolts throughout the country. The outside, non-communist world can only have sympathy for Tibetans. Their lives are hard enough at the best of times. But now they may be facing total subjection. The Patala Palace, but whether the Dalai Lama still lives there is not yet known. It's the same old.